Hey everyone, welcome to JM Lectures. JM stands for Just Mary, that would be me. And today we're doing something a little different. We are going to be doing physics sample questions from the Matric exam. Matric is the common name for the 12th grade national exam. Now, we're going to take questions from the Ethiopian calendar 2010 or the Gregorian calendar 2018 exams, and there's going to be a total of 30 questions. And I would like you to do these questions with me, so grab a piece of paper and a pen and let's get started. So first, let's go over the content of this exam. So this exam consists of units from both grades 11 and grades 12. So first, the units from grades 11 are measurement, vectors, kinematics, dynamics, work energy and power, rotational motion, equilibrium properties of bulk matter. And the contents from grade 12 are thermodynamics, oscillations and waves, wave optics, electrostatics, steady electric current and circuit properties, magnetism, electromagnetic induction and AC circuits, and finally atomic physics. So the great thing about Matrik, if there is a great thing, is that the exam is literally arranged in this order of units. You'll have either two or three questions from each of these units. So we are going to tackle this exam just like that. I'm going to make separate videos for each separate units using questions from the exam. So without further ado, let's just get started. So our first unit is from grade 11 and this unit is measurements and the question is as follows. What can be concluded when the number of significant figures increases? So I'm going to be doing something a little different when answering these questions. I know Matrik is multiple choice, but I'm not going to give the choices at first. I actually recommend that you try to do this in the exam even. If you know the question, if you understand the question, try to answer the question first. Try to find the answer within yourself first and then look for your answer in the choices. Because sometimes the choices are made specifically to confuse you. Therefore, if you are sure about your answer in the first hand, it'll be much easier to find your answer in the choices afterwards. So anyway, back to the question. This first question, asks us about significant figures, okay? So and before we get into detail about what happened if they increase and decrease, let's first talk about what significant figures are. Significant figures are closely, significant figures are closely related to the concept of scientific notation. And scientific notation is just how you write a number in a more appropriate form. What I mean by that is, let's say we have a huge number like 2,368,423. Okay, so that's a huge number. And usually in science, you don't write numbers like this. There's a much more appropriate way. So for example, I could write this number as 2.36 times 10 to the power of six. Okay, so this is what you call the scientific notation. But I could also write this number as 2.368 times 10 to the power of six. And I could also write this number as 2.3684 as 10 to the power of 6. See, all of these represent the same number, but their difference is their number of significant figures. So what significant... Oh, sorry, I kind of crossed that out. But the, the point is that the significant figures vary. So here I would have one, two, three significant figures. And here I would have four significant figures. And here I would have five significant figures. Basically the non-zero numbers that are present within our scientific notation. So this shows an increase. This right here shows an increase insignificant figures, which is our question. What does an increase in significant figures conclude? Or what does it indicate? Well, two properties of measurements that we have to know are precision and accuracy. So these concepts are sometimes confused with each other, but they're actually very different. A good way to show their difference is to use a target system. Let's say we have two targets, one like so, and one like so. And to say, and to say a measurement is precise, it means it's exact, okay? It's exactness, not in the sense that it's close to the center, but every time you shoot your arrow, you shoot them very close together. Or every time you make your measurements, your measurements are close together, not necessarily close to the true value, okay? An accurate measurement, on the other hand, means that you're close to the true value, but you're not necessarily close to each other, all right? So you're not really good, you're good at your, so you're good at your aim, but you're not really good at getting the same aim multiple times. So you can conclude that a precise and an accurate, a precise and an accurate measurement 
would be both close to each other, right? Your multiple aims are close to each other. And on top of that, they are close to the true value or very close to the true value. Okay, so that's a combination of both precision and accuracy. So why I'm bringing these points up is that there's certain ways you can make your measurements more precise and there are certain ways you can make your measurements more accurate. The way to make your measurements more accurate is to avoid random errors, okay? So usually if you're using some tool of measurement, it should show you the correct value, but some errors might occur that make you not show the correct value, therefore making your measurement less accurate. But if you avoid these random errors, you can make your measurement more accurate. And for precision, on the other hand, you increase your significant figures. Okay, so I basically just answered the question right there. How you pre increase precision is by increasing significant figures. They are directly related. So here, the maximum number of significant figures that I have make it the most precise measurement. So if we look at our choices now, we can see that our correct answer would be C, precision increases with the increase of significant figures. We have accuracy, we have uncertainty and true readings, but none of these correspond as well as precision does in increasing significant figures.